want to provide the safest environment for the kids as they're out walking to school. So it provides crossing guards with a tool to, to help support that. All they have to do is insert a key into a um, signal box that's near the crosswalk. It provides for an additional 10 to 15 seconds of walk time so that the kids can safely cross the street without you know, having to worry about traffic. It's very simple. It's just a little programming that, like say, hardwiring the switch in and some minor program in the controller and we're up and going. If we increased the walk time and left it there all day long, it would mess up the traffic every time the pedestrian pushes it. This way, the crossing guard has the power to control extra time or turn it off. I don't have to run to get back across the street to cross children the other direction. It makes it much safer. The children don't have to rush. They don't have to run. It makes it safe for the children and for the crossing guards. It's a really busy intersection and it's scary. And even though my kid, you know, she's in fifth grade and she's responsible and all that stuff, you just never know. You don't know about the drivers and, you know, people out there and you want your kid to be safe, feel safe. And having the extra time is great. Still new technology. We're the only ones in the nation that has done this so far. Uh, we've searched and can't find anybody else that's came up with this idea. We can put it everywhere that we have a new signal controller, a controller in the signal cabinet, and an intersection that's controlled under a signal as a crossing guard. That'll be our requirements. UDOT is always looking for innovative ways to enhance safety of our students, um, as, as well as just individuals on and off the roads. And so we are committed to safety, and this is just one more tool that we have to, to make sure that we are doing that.